I think WSSU uh, is one of the proud HBCUs within the UNC system. Uh, it is located in the Triad area and I think it has provided a beacon of hope for people in that area. It's changed the trajectory of lives of people living in that community. Uh, I grew up in that community and I know many people that have attended that institution. I uh, have been able to take their families to the next level. So I think Winston-Salem State plays a pivotal role in providing students with that access to the next level, to that next life, to achieve the goals and dreams that they've always had for themselves and for their families. I don't know a life without Winston-Salem State University. Uh, literally, my mother was a junior in college at Winston-Salem State when she got married. Uh, her senior year, I was born. Um, and so again, as she would go to classes, I would be on campus <laughs> waiting for her to get out of class and come back and pick me up. Um, and so I've just always known that institution. Uh, later, my father went back as an adult student and I remember him studying and trying to type on the typewriter. He couldn't type. Uh, but I remember him, the day he graduated, picking out my dress and being proud of seeing him in that robe. I remember being small myself and being in the same state homecoming parade, highlight of my life, to have on that red and white and twirl my baton. Again, I'm just, I, I don't know a world uh, without Winston-Salem State. Um, and so as I, even in my career, my first public institution job was at Winston-Salem State University. So it's just had its threads all throughout every aspect of my life. Uh, and I'm so excited to continue with this journey. Higher education is in a tricky space right now. There's a lot of pressures internal and external, uh, but I want Winston Salem State to rise above all of that. Uh, we have to ensure that our, we are fiscally stable. Uh, we have to make sure we focus on our enrollment uh, because again, if we're about access, we have to make sure we're reaching those people who want us and who need us. Uh, the industries are needing certain talents and skills and I think it's our responsibility as a university to make sure that our students are getting those talents, uh, getting those skills that they need so they can go out uh, and add uh, the value to our society, to the workforce, uh, to the needs of the state. One, I'm an avid reader and so I would want to get my hands on a lot of information and materials so I can read and digest and understand. Uh, and after that, I think it's my lawyer background, I'll be asking a lot of questions. Uh, so I will have questions for everyone uh, so that I can understand the landscape and the history. I think it's important to know where you've been, to know where you are going. Um, and so I'll be asking a lot of questions. I hope to meet a lot of people, uh, our donors, our alums, uh, our community leaders. I hope to meet everyone uh, so again, I can learn from them to understand uh, where we've been, what they want, uh, and where we can go together as a future. Uh, so I think I'll be busy, 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 uh, just meeting, learning, smiling, assessing, uh, adjusting to the new role. Uh, but I think by the end of the 100 days, I hope to have a very good understanding of where we are and begin working with the whole campus to talk about that way forward. What, what do we need to focus on? What do we need to be serious about and really concentrate on to get to that next level, to make sure we are sound so that we can continue for uh, into the future uh, to providing the service that we do for the state. Uh, my kids are very interesting. We have a son and a daughter, Joshua, uh, who is in the military and he's based in Colorado. Uh, he's ac actually on the officer track in the Army. He attended Morgan State University, uh, another great HBCU, uh, with a degree in marketing. Uh, and then we have a daughter, Malaya, she lives in South Carolina, and a granddaughter, uh, Angelise, who is now five months old. Um, and so again, uh, taking this position allows us to be closer to, to Angelise and to Malaya and so uh, we just look forward to having her, uh, Angelise, be a part of the Ramley as well. She'll be the baby ram. Uh, my husband will be there right by my side. He's, he's kind of comical too. Um, and so together we'll be taking this journey uh, around this. My sister lives in town and my nieces and my nephews and so uh, I'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of get-togethers uh, and laughter uh, and music and singing uh, when we get together. My grandmother is still around. She is 95, 96 years old. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that. Uh, but she is still around and I know she is going to be overjoyed. Uh, she'll be so happy to have me around as well. And so I think I'll need that support. Uh, being a chancellor will not be an easy job. I'm not fooled by that at all. But it will be fulfilling and rewarding. and It'll just be that much better to have my family around me. 
I, I love music. It's, it's r and I'm a 90s baby, so I, I, I'm all about the Jill Scott, Mary J. Blige, and if you all will know me, I am a new addition, any for lifer. So just know anything around that area is what I, what I will be engaging in. So you might hear me humming, singing around the office or around campus. Uh, I do sing. My family is very full of very good singers. Um, and so we, we sing all of the time. And so music is my getaway. I love live concerts, live jazz, live music. I know there's a lot of music uh, in Winston-Salem and around the campus and around uh, the region. And so I definitely will be partaking in the musical scene. And so that is my getaway. Ramley is everything. Uh, Ramley is the, to me that common experience with Winston-Salem State University. Uh, be it your favorite place on campus, be it your friends and um, your other alumni from across the region and the state, uh, being just seeing the school on the hill when you ride down the highway. Uh, again, that homecoming parade, the football games, I think all of that is Ramley. Uh, when I was interviewing, I think the one thing that struck me is that everyone mentioned that, even the students. The students said they are ultimately supported. They feel more support than they've ever felt anywhere and that was important to me and that tells me about the core of an institution. And so I think Ramley again is just that bond you have from engaging around what is Winston-Salem State University and the excellent place that it is.